Chinese garden here. I'm giving you a pumpkin update today. I have had a request for an update on Pumpkin Alley and my pumpkin arch, so let's take a look. Okay, here's Pumpkin Alley, and we have had great germination. There's only one little section right here that I'm a little concerned about, but otherwise, Look at those pumpkins coming up. We'll see how they continue to grow. -na 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 -na. Okay, let's take a look back here as we go through the fence. Ta -da! Okay, now we're by the cattle panel. Okay, now we're by the cattle panel arbor that we've created this year. And these are the Jaredale. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Jaredell pumpkins that we are starting to train up. Let's take a closer look at how I'm doing that. So when you peek in here, you can see we're starting to get some of these tendrils to spiral around. So how I did that was I went in here and took this main stem, which is the middle stem of the pumpkin, and took a soft tie wrap, wrapped it around there, and connected it to the actual cattle panel. And then these, were very tight and curled, so I just curled them around the actual arbor. Let's get in there. There we go. I did come down and tie lower to pull and connect onto the arbor over here. I've done a similar thing over here, taking that main stem can get it there and coming around to connect and this last one over here I've taken it down at the bottom connected it to the wire cattle panel arbor and then again once it started growing connecting that bringing it through the arbor and with the soft tie making sure it stays close I'll show you in real time how I'm doing this one, so the part that's growing up. I've already connected the bottom of it down here to closer to the bottom of the plant, but I'll show you how I'm doing this one. These are the type of soft tie attachments that I'm using. It's a wire, and then it has a soft attachment overlay so that if you have delicate plants, it's less harmful to them. This brand is Hacksnix, but really you can find something similar at any garden center. Now with these stems that are closer to the bottom, I've brought them through these squares down here of the cattle panel so that they're kind of out of the way and gives this more room to continue to climb and be real close to the trellis. So if you can, pull some of those through and underneath, and that way the ones with these little blossoms on it have a great chance of really binding upward. So those are pulled through and I've cut this so now I'm going to come in. It's a soft tie so I'm not worried about really bruising the plant. I'm coming this way. I'm just going to start winding. If I want to bring it really close I can. I still want to be somewhat delicate so that's good enough for me. I'm gonna wind and wind. Excellent, just like that. So now if we peek through, I've got up bit there and there. Okay, pumpkin people, if you've made it this far, feel free to hit the subscribe button at the lower right-hand corner. It really helps the channel. But we're finished here. You can see these blooms and little blossoms that are going to start to bloom soon. We'll be able to grow and wind up just like this one over here has started to do. So we are on the right track. I hope all is going well with your pumpkins also. Comment below and let me know how your pumpkins are doing this year, what you found that is really working for you, or if you're trying a different trellis technique as far as attaching and growing and really filling in all of the trellis. Let me know, I'd love to hear. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.